Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to use classes in Python. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can use constructors and destructors with classes in Python. These constructor and destructor are also called initialization and deletion member functions of the class. So first of all let's see how we can use constructor in Python. In the last video I have given you a small little example of a class and how to create a class and we have created a person class and we have created two member function one member function to set the values and other member function to print the name right so first member function we named it as set full name and in this function we are, we were passing two arguments first name and last name and this print full name member function we were using to print the name of the person and then i have shown you how you can create an instance or object of a class uh, like this and how to use these member function like this using the instance of the class now I'm going to take the same example to show you how you can use constructor with this same class. So first of all to define a constructor you just use normal function definition with def and then you give double underscore in it then double underscore and give the bracket and give colon here and in here as any other uh, member function you can perform any task so for example i want to uh, print something that uh, our class is created for example so i'm just printing our class is created not like this but class is created right so first of all what is the use of this constructor generally in programming languages constructors are used to initialize the value okay so whenever you create the instance of a class so we are creating the instance of a class here as soon as you create the instance of a class this constructor is called immediately so you don't need to explicitly call the constructor of a class you may call it or you may not call it but don't forget to give the self argument as i have shown you in the last video that you need to uh, use this keyword self with every member function of a class and this indicates to the instance of a class so program a person name will be replaced by self here in the last video i've shown you so as soon as i create an instance of a class this init member function will be automatically called so you don't need to explicitly call this member function so i'm going to run this save run and you can see here it gives us the result our class is created even though we haven't called our uh, init member function explicitly it's printing first this our class is created that means as soon as you create this instance of a class this member function is called right so always remember the constructor definition is reserved here with double underscore in it and this also ends with double underscore so this is the reserve keyword in python to call constructor you cannot give any definition or any name to the constructor it's reserved which is this one in a same way we can use destructor to destroy the instance of a class okay so and destructors are also called whenever our 
instance is out of scope. So let me show you how you can call destructor first. So destructor also you can just define it as a normal function with two underscore del and this these two underscores and then just call self here keyword and then give colon here and then you can just uh, write the functionality of the code. So for example I will print uh, I can print our class instance is destroyed. So our class object is destroyed. And this is also reserved in Python with double underscore del and uh, this also ends with double underscore. And this function is also automatically called whenever your class or in class instance goes out of scope. Out of scope means that this uh, class instance is no longer used. So in here, after this code, our class instance scope is completed because this is no longer used in further code because there is no code, obviously, right? Then whenever this uh, class or person name goes out of scope, this deletion member function will be called automatically and it uh, just basically the use of this destructor or deletion member function is to a garbage collection kind of uh, uh, use. So it just collects the garbage or all the resources and destroy all the resources which are used by this instance which is person name. So I will just save my program and run it. And you can see here whenever I just created this it's not printing this deletion uh, member message here but whenever you can you use the instance of a class dot underscore underscore deleting so underscore deletion member and then you, whenever you run this this is printed our class object is destroyed so whenever you use this um, deletion member function it destroys all the resources which are used by your class instance okay so this is the use of this destroyer or destructor now it's not uh, you know compulsory that you cannot pass any uh, argument with this initialization you can pass argument for example i can pass uh, for example i can pass any argument uh, for example, I want to pass ID of uh, the person I'm I wa I'm using, or I want to print the name of. So I want to initialize the ID of a person like this. I can just uh, uh, pass this argument with my initialization member function, and then I can just use self dot ID is equal to ID. And then I can call this ID uh, in my destructor also. So, for example, uh, this destructor can also take some arguments, and we can call this self dot ID. For example, I will print this ID here, and then I can just print the message, right? So it's not necessary that uh, our uh, initialization or our constructor has to uh, has to initialize with no argument it can take any number of argument as an initialization but whenever you give this argument in the initialization here uh, then whenever you create the instance you need to pass the that argument here 
So we are creating the instance here and because the initialization takes this one argument which is id, we are passing 5 as an id here in the initialization. Okay. So this is how you can initialize it. And now whenever you run your program, once again, you can see here our class is created once again. And as soon as this, this class is created, we are setting the ID of a person as we pass in the constructor, which is here. And then self.id is set here. And whenever we call the destructor, we are once again calling the ID of uh, the person, which is this one. And then printing the message, this one, right? So in this way, you can use constructor and destructor or initializer or and deletion in Python. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please write, comment and subscribe. And bye for now.